So the question for today is how to interface memory with microprocessor. So I've taken this question from a question paper which says that interface 2732 which is actually an <coughs> EP ROM with 885. The should start with 8000H. Okay. So let's see how to, uh, if you face these kinds of questions, how to, you how should you answer or what should you do the approach. <coughs> so the first thing which you need to see is this. This is actually the number of registers you will be addressing and this is the bit okay so I'll be writing here is 4096 into 8 <coughs> excuse me is actually the number of registers in the memory or the number of addresses okay and this is number of bits number of bits so this is an 8 bit addresses like it will be 8 bit 8 bits and this total will be 496 right so what should you do in these kind of things so first the very first thing is calculate this 2 raised to the how much is 4096 so it comes out to be 12 so 2 to the 12 is 4096 right okay, and I'll give you a basic thing that 2 to the 10 is if you do not remember so 2 to the 10 is 1024 sorry it should be 1024 so remember this that 1024 is 2 to the 10 and then you can easily find, go on finding next so 2 to the 11 will be 2048 4096 and so on so so I get this as 12 so I get n equals to 12 so what is n equals to 12 I'll be using address lines so how many will be ad how many address lines will I be using there will be 12 address lines okay so I draw the microprocessor here I don't need to draw the microprocessor yeah so I, I won't be drawing the microprocessor sorry and what I'll, I'm drawing is this is the Peripheral, okay, this is a bit bleak. This is my peripheral, and uh, this is my 74LS138, which is actually a 3 weight decoder. So it has got chip select, which is active low, right? It has got three selection lines. Right, and what all it, it needs to? Okay, yeah, it it has got an output. That's is an that's an output. We'll take it at zero, which means that since we are only interfacing one device, if you we were in in fact if if you we were in, uh, interfacing more than um, till eight devices, we could take it from O zero to O seven or so on, right? So what I, what I will do is, uh, we'll take it as zero, which means that uh, all these address lines, uh, when they are zero, uh, this will be selected. So when we need to know that when this is selected, this will be, yeah. so, so this output line actually joins to the chip select part, right? Okay, so this is our ROM, so it is 2732. Now, what else will be, uh, yeah, what else will be added is 12 address lines. See, we found out 12 address lines. So, we'll add A0 to A11. These are 12 address lines, okay. And then, this is, this will be A12. Uh, yeah, this will be A12. This will be A13 and this will be A14. I would like to uh, like draw your attention that we've used from A0 to A11. Okay. A12, A13, A14, and A15. Right? And since these three will be uh, going to 0, 0, 0, to select the O0, this part. So we know that these three are zeros 
all of these may vary according to the register to be selected okay yeah so because 12 register that to be selected so all these may vary so we go from 0 0 okay so i will draw another partition a not to a3 a4 a7 a8 a11 and a12 to a15 so we got four bits each now the thing is that where do we put a15 and what do we do with it as you see we've got another value which is the 8000 edge how should the address start with start with 8000 since you can see this is the 16 bit number 8000 edge so you've got this as 0 0 0 and we are still unsure about this part so what do I do since I know this chip select should always be negative or I can say it's active low so we put a 15 to this but what this makes it sure that a15 should be 0 now, I do not want a15 to be low so what I do is I erase this and make a small change in it I place a not get so what I do is I place an inverter here so it will remain 0 1 here but it will invert to 0 so it will always be selected so that's how you can uh, change this and we can get it as 1 and we get as 8 so that's how we get the addresses so if the addresses change uh, supposedly you get another set of addresses you just need to place a15 or different uh, things uh, you can just need to change it from here and if this part changes number of addresses you can go on uh, and uh, find out this will all be in pass of 2 so you can go on uh, and uh, uh, just solve it as like this then you'll get to know how many number of address lines you need to use that's all thank you so much